begging you, good Mercutio. Let's call it a day. It's hot outside, and the Capulets are wandering around. If we bump into them, we'll certainly get into a fight. When it's hot outside, people become angry and hot-blooded. You're like one of those guys who walks into a bar, slams his sword on the table, and then says, I pray I never have to use this. By the time he orders his second drink, he pulls out his sword to the bartender for no reason at all. Am I really like one of those guys? Come on, you can be as angry as any guy in Italia when you're in this mood. When someone comes to the smallest thing to make you angry, you get angry. And when you're in the mood to get angry, you find something to get angry about. And what about that? If there were two men like you, pretty soon there'd be none because the two of you would kill each other. You would fight with a man if he had one whiskier or one less whisker in his beard than the other. You have in your beard. You'll fight with a man who's cracking nuts just because you have hazel colored eyes. Only you would look for a fight like that. Your, your head as full of light as an egg at, is yolk full of yolk. But your head has been beaten like, at, like scrambled. Eggs from so much fighting. You started a fight with a man who coughed in the street because he woke up a dog. That was sleeping in the sun. Didn't you argue it out with the tailor for wearing one of his new suits before the right season? And with another for tying the new shoes he made with old laces? And you, and yet, you're the one who wants to teach me about restraint. If I were in the habit of fighting the way you are, my life insurance rates would be sky high. Oh great, here come the Capulets. Well, I don't care. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'd like to have a word with one of you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You want to just say one word? Put it together. Say something and make it a slash. You'll find me ready enough to do that. Just give me a reason. Can't you find a reason without me giving you one? Mercutio, you hang out with Romeo? Hang out? Who do you think we are, musicians in a band? If we look like musicians to you, you can expect to hear nothing but noise. My search should make you dance. Can you believe what he said, Benvolio? M musicians. We're talking here in a public place. Either go someplace private, or talk it over rationally. Or else just go away. Or out here, everybody can see us. Men's eyes were made to see things, so let them watch. I'm not going to move for anybody. Well, may peace be with you. Here comes a man that I am looking for. He is not your man. Walk out to a field and he'll chase you. Then he'll be your man. Romeo, the only thing I can call you is a villain. Tybalt, I have a reason to love you that lets me put aside the rage I should feel and excuse that insult. I am no villain, so goodbye. I can tell you that you don't know who I am. Boy, your words can't excuse the harm you've done to me. So now, turn and draw your sword. I disagree. I've never done you harm. I love you more than you can understand. Until you know the reason why I love you, and so, good Capulet, which is a name I love like my own name, you should be satisfied with what I say. This calm submission is dishonorable and vile. The thrust of my sword will end the surrender. To bought you rat catcher, you will go fight me. What do you want from me? I just want to kill you. Do you think you can get the sword out of this scabbard? You'd better hurry else or mine will be out first. I'll fight you. Mercutio, put your sword away. Come on, Tabo, let's see your lunch. Draw your sword, Benvolio. Let's beat down their weapons, gentlemen. Stop this disgraceful fight. Tabalt and Mercutio, the prince has banned fighting in the streets of Verona. Stop Tabalt, stop good Mercutio. What, are you hurt? Have courage, man. The wound can't be that bad. No, it is not deep, as well as or wide as a church door. But it's enough. It, it'll do the job. Ask me tomorrow, and you'll find me in a grave. I'm done in this world. I believe my plague strike both your houses. I can't believe that I could scratch me to death. This Zillian who fights like a learned swordsman from a manual. Why do you come in between us? He struck me from under your arm. I thought it was the right thing to do. Take me to some house, Pavolio, or I'll pass out. May a plague strike your both families. They cheer me to food of worms. I'm done before you. Curse your families. This gentleman, Mercutio, a close relative of the prince and my dear friend, was killed while defending me from Tybalt's slender. Tybalt, who had been my cousin for a whole hour. Oh, sweet Juliet, your beauty has made me weak, and you have softened my bravery. 
which before was as hard as steel. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, brave Mercutio is dead. His brave spirit has floated up to heaven, but it was too early for him to leave life on earth. The future will be affected by today's terrible events. Today is the start of a terror that will end in the days ahead. Here comes the furious Tybalt again. He's alive and victorious, and Mercutio dead? Enough mercy and consideration. It is time for rage to guide my actions. Now, Tybalt, you can call me a villain the way you did before. Mercutio's soul is floating right above our heads. He's waiting for you to keep him company on the way up to heaven. Either you, or I, or both of us, he's going to go to heaven with him. Wretched boy, you hung out with him on earth, now you're going to go to heaven with him. This fight will decide who dies. Ah! Romeo, get out of here. The citizens are around, and Tybalt is dead. Don't stand there shocked. The prince will give you the death penalty if you get caught. So get out of here. Oh, I am fortune's fool. What has fate done to me? Why are you still here? 